Hey Mountainside, thank you so much for stopping in and, and watching our video. Uh, I hope you're having a great week. I hope you guys are feeling blessed. And even though there's a, it seems like so much unrest and turmoil nowadays, I, I hope that you're finding some type of peace and comfort from our messages and that you can feel um, a little bit closer to us if you're not able to be with us, but also that you can just be encouraged since we're not having things like our Wednesday night uh, Bible studies at this time. Hopefully those can resume soon, um, but until then, we'll continue to have these videos. I love being a dad uh, every day, maybe not every moment of every day, but I do enjoy being a dad every day. Lately, my oldest son, uh, he's been going through a little bit of separation anxiety. So whenever his mother or I leave uh, the room, you know, go to the store, or if I go to work, he has uh, these moments where he's just... Um, <laughs> He's emotionally distraught and usually ends in crying and asking, where's mama? Where's daddy? Uh, just trying to figure out where we're at. And this is normal for a two-year-old. It's normal for a young, uh, a young child to try to figure out, hey, where did the person that I care about go? Where is that individual? And it leaves his mom and I feeling heart, heartbroken because it's just difficult. You can't explain it. They had to go to the store. They'll be back soon. Soon doesn't mean anything to them. And so uh, it just leaves him with this, uh, with this desire to be around us. And it's, it, is, it is difficult. But the best part is when I come home uh, from work or from the store, wherever I've been, he is so excited to see, see us. It's almost hysterical the way that uh, he's laughing, he's crying, he's excited. He can't hold himself together. I think the biblical term for this is called being overjoyed. Uh, so much joy that he cannot contain uh, the happiness that he feels. And so uh, that's always a, a cool feeling. Being a dad gives me a new perspective on, on so many biblical truths. And I love that, uh, that we can find these correlations throughout God's word that help us to try to figure, figure out our relationship to God in, in a more, uh, easy to understand way. And it gives me a new perspective on Jesus' words that we see in Mark chapter 10, verses 14 through 15. Let the children come to me, don't stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. I tell you the truth, anyone who doesn't receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. And so with that in mind, I try to find scriptures that, that give me an insight to this childlike nature, this ability to, to find a way to, to draw closer uh, and, and maybe better understand God's relationship with us because he wants us to be childlike in our interactions. And I think I'm, I believe I found one in Psalm chapter 27, verses 1 through 6. So we're going to look at Psalm 27, 1 through 6 and see the childlike nature that David writes in his relationship to God. And, it, and this is how it reads. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though the army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord. This only do I see, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling, he will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent, and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy, I will sing and make music. To the Lord. My son desires nothing more than to be with me, to be hugged and loved, to wrestle, to have fun. He just wants to be near me. Can you say the same thing about your relationship with God? Do you want to just be near God? Are you confident that God's strength his provision, his protection, is all that you need? 
Do you approach your relationship with God with this childlike awe and wonder? And do you just want to be in his presence? As David writes, do you just want to be in his house, dwelling with him? I know when I look at my relationship with my son, that is exactly what I see. He just wants to be near me. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Good night, and God bless.